Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Sagittarius, please. When it comes to love, what do they need to know who or what is coming towards them in love for Sagittarius? Ooh. Wealthy man. So some sort of masculine energy having to do with stability, security, kind of like the King of Pentacles there. What else? What else? For Sagittarius. Oh, we got Coffin. This is a card about finality, final decisions, um, endings. Bottom of the deck, we have change. So it could be something, some sort of transformation here taking place. Hmm. The end of a cycle, maybe? Okay. So just what messages do you have for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius. Who comes to life? The recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse in your energy. Three of Pentacles with the uh, Tempest card reverse. There you are, Sagittarius. In the present, we have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. In their energy, we have the Five of Cups reverse, Seven of Swords reverse, and in the near future, we have the Two of Cups reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have the Fool with the Sun here. New beginning, but I feel like there's some sort of um, disconnect between two people here. I feel like I poked myself. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's start with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is a card about an offer that's taking forever, delays, obstacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that something's taking a, a while. Um, this could be financial like financial obstacles or delays, um, which I think is kind of funny because we have the Wealthy Man card. Four of Pentacles could be a card about holding back, holding on to something. Um, and Seven of Pentacles is a card about kind of like doubt, worry over something not working out, uh, something taking maybe too long to harvest. Can I get one more? Oh, the Knight of King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is someone that wants to make something happen here, desires something, but it's just it's just not in the it's it's not happening in the timing that maybe they want. King of Wands is like, I want it and I want it now. So I can imagine they're having difficulty here. Tell me about this King of Wands. What does he want? What does this King of Wands want? The world reverse. So a cycle isn't ending. Um, there's a lack of closure. There's something that's not ending and not beginning. It's just like delays here. Tell me more about this King of Wands. 
Yeah, this person wants something. Nine of Cups, a wish granted, but I feel like it hasn't happened yet. Now the Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, there's some sort of departure here and someone wants to do it quickly, I feel. Why is the Six of Swords here? What's this about? Six of Swords. Six of Pentacles reverse, leaving an unbalanced situation or situation that maybe isn't fair. The Star, Aquarius energy, hope, faith, renewal. Something wasn't working here with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Someone maybe wasn't putting in the same amount of effort and so that someone else decided to just leave. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Magician. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Wow, Knight of Cups. This is someone's definitely trying to manifest something. I don't know if this is you or your person, but I feel like whatever, yeah, look, Ace of Swords. Communication for sure with the Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. This could be something you're manifesting or something that someone wants to do. They want to talk. Yep, Knight of Swords. They want to talk and they want to talk fast and honestly, openly. Let's see how you feel about each other. Spirit, tell me more about Sagittarius and this other person. What are their energies? Tell me about Sagittarius. What are their energies at this time? About Sagittarius. What are their energies at this time? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Ooh, you're really into it. I, what I got is almost like a very... There's an attachment here is what I'm getting, like a, like a thread. You feel a pull towards this person. And bottom of the deck, I have patiently waiting. And I feel like you've just been possibly waiting for something to happen here for a while. And you haven't been able to let this person go. Now, this is your energy for me, Sagittarius, and your person's energy is right here, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Okay, let me put that back because I didn't ask my question. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is in a connection with. What are their energies this time? What are their energies at this time? Looking inward, reflection, solitude, planning, Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. So I don't think this person's very communicative right now. I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking. Burning passion at the bottom of the deck. So once again, you're mirroring each other in the sense of like, this person definitely wants something because I feel like this is them down picking up down here. This could be you too, but I'm feeling like this is them. Um, I feel like they're thinking about you. Whatever this is about, it's, it has something to do with your connection. Let's see, tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Here we got the Page of Pentacles. So you've been working on something, maybe you're very successful, um, stable. Yeah, the Empress. You have a lot going for you. This person, I feel they, they know this. Tell me about the Temperance card reverse. But with Temperance reverse, something's not quite coming together for you. Maybe you have everything you could ever want except the one thing you really desire. Tell me, tell me why the Temperance card is reverse. The Sun. Why is the Temperance card reverse? Strength reverse, Leo energy. This is out of your control. This is something, I feel like what you truly want is not something you can control or that you are able to um, influence. Ace, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is something that needs to happen on its own. Um, maybe there's frustration over the fact that you haven't truly been happy or you haven't gotten your wish or you haven't been able to 
bring something into balance regarding love. Uh, maybe you're tired of waiting for love, something like that. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Ace of Swords. This person is definitely going to talk. They're definitely wanting to talk. And I feel like they want to talk to regain something they, that they're missing. Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, security. Again, trying to match you here. The Tower Reverse. Maybe they're trying to avoid a tower from happening. I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe a tower already happened between you and they want to talk about it. Seven of Swords Reverse is a card about like things being out in the open. Someone getting caught. Um, I'm just going to pick that up and put it just like it fell. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's trust issues here. Perhaps because, um, or some sort of situation that has been difficult because this person is getting caught or something here. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands Reverse. Oh my goodness, what? Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles on your person's side. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Reverse. Nine of Swords, Fear, Anxiety, Guilt. Four of Swords. I feel like this person is going to talk to you about... This could even be financial difficulty. It could be a uh, difficulty in a commitment. Or it could be that difficulty has something to do with maybe they're scared um, or anxious about an offer that they want to make to you. Maybe you your walls are way up when it comes to this person. What in the world is this Ace of Pentacles about? Tell me more about Two of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands reverse. Once again, like I don't think this is this is someone stuck in something that's not successful. Yep, yeah, and it's with it's not good. So either take up how it resonates here, Sagittarius. I feel like there's two groups that I'm talking to right now. Some of you are pissed at this person, don't want anything to do with this person. Um which is that's what I'm getting. I feel like you probably walked away from this person. And it's because they did something here. Um, I feel like you're not, you're not uh, open to this. Others of you, I feel like this person's with someone that's not good. They have an unhealthy energy around them. I feel like they're wanting to be free of that. But there's some sort of regret here situation that's difficult un not successful it affects you somehow but i think that's a third party energy tell me about this tower reverse what's this tower reverse yeah there's definitely something that came to the surface here with the high priest's reverse and the seven of swords reverse a secret came to light or someone was seen very clearly I feel like it got them in trouble. Someone walked away from them because of that Eight of Cups. Now, I don't know if this is, again, um, this could be that this is something that you found out that or that they want to tell you about. I, I see both ways. They're definitely wanting to talk to you. I mean, expect communication from this person for sure with the Ace of Swords. And the Eight of Wands here with the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Magician. I feel like this, this is what your person wants to do, is communicate. Like, this is their goal. I feel like, you know, I don't know if they want this to offer this Ace of Pentacles. But if they do, I, I, don't, I don't know how they'll be able to do that with all these other cards here. So let's see, what's this Two of Cups reverse in the near future? Why is the Two of Cups reverse? Two of Pentacles, choice between two, weighing options, being busy, juggling. Why is the Two of Cups reverse? Justice reverse, Libra energy. 
something is unfair, unbalanced. There could be karma here as well, karmic justice. Yep, there is heartbreak here, disappointment. The hangman at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like in the near future, someone's choice here. Tell me more about this choice because I feel like this is going to be like the big uh, factor here. What's this Two of Pentacles about, Spirit? For Sagittarius, why is the Two of Pentacles here? <laughs> two of Wands. <laughs> why is the Two of Pentacles here, Spirit? The higher font. Ooh. Taurus energy. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. One more, please another commitment or wanting to be traditional do things right the hangman someone could be stuck in a commitment or a situation where they have a lot of responsibilities they're trying to decide what to do about that now i don't know if this is going to lead to some sort of a divorce here i have justice reverse the hierophant two of cups reverse bottom of the deck I have the seven of cups I think this is someone that's thinking about what to do they're stuck in a situation and they're thinking about what to do about it doing a lot of reflecting I feel like this person has been forced to make a choice with whatever came out to light here I feel like they've been forced to make a choice because I have the two of swords here a difficult choice I feel like no matter what choice this person makes, someone's going to be upset. I don't know if you're in a connection with this person, a long-term commitment, and this separation is between you and this person, or if this is outside of you. Because I, again, I feel like I'm talking to two different people here, but I feel like you are a prize to this person. When they think of you, I think they re recognize that you have a lot to offer. You're well you're doing well, you, they're probably really attracted to you or something like that. And this person definitely is gonna to try to reach out to, to talk to you. Um, now, whether you wanna answer the phone or whatever, that's gonna be up to you. Um, depends on what group you fall into, but that's what I'm getting here, Sagittarius. Uh, hopefully this resonated for you. Hopefully you got something out of this reading. Um, if it did resonate for you, then leave me a comment. Let me know down in the description box. Um, if this did not resonate for you, Sagittarius, check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I have so many videos there and there's bound to be one there that resonates for you. So check that out. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more videos from me. Uh, thank you to everyone who already takes the time to do that. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.